Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Blind. It's been a few days. I don't know how many days. <laughs> I mean, it's only the seven, so not very many days. The other game I'm going to be Let's Playing for uh, October has yet to arrive. I have ordered it. Ordered it over the weekend. It's now Tuesday, still not here. Maybe I'll arrive later today. Hopefully. So, like, I would have referred to have, you know, got it off Amazon, get next day delivery or something like that, but unfortunately, it's not available on Amazon. And, that, and by that, I mean it is only from third party sellers that are like, ah, uh, that'll cost you a bit naughty quid and, like, fuck off. <laughs> I ain't paying that much for it. Resident Zero. Also, replaying through the game again to get to this point because, you know, got game over. It wasn't that bad this time. It was a, it was a day or two ago, or maybe two days. I don't know. I'm bad when it comes to uh, time. Even if it's just a matter of, you know, of a day or two here. But it wasn't all that bad. I even managed to, you know, headshot a few zombies. I'd be like, uh, what was the aim button again? R1. I'd be like firing like that. It wouldn't look like it would hit. But it hit like these two zombies in the area near the kitchen. Heads blew right off. So that was neat. When I tried it with other zombies in different areas though. Not so successful. And switch to Billy since he's the one who's going to be doing the things. I've already got him in place. I picked up the other shotgun. And it has. I mean, it only has four rounds here. And I've got no other ammo for it. You can see I've, like, officially switched, like, all the ammo over to Billy because. Billy's got to be doing most of that, isn't he, really? But this can carry at least seven rounds, so that's good. Meanwhile, it's like I've got, well, I've got these, I guess, if I need them. I haven't been everywhere that I did last time. I haven't encountered those uh, slimy boys. Speaking of which... I was like, you know, you ever do that, you get annoyed at a game and you just like, you type into Google your frustrations to see if anyone else feels the same. Kind of did that more or less and like seeing other people's frustrations with the game and be like, oh man, this game, man, it's brutal. And then some people are like, no, it's not. You know, it's kind of, it's always that way, isn't it? But like hearing about the enemy types, it's like, it's spoilers, but I don't know what the enemy types look like. I just know what people have called them, or maybe they're official names for them. So I've got a vague idea of what's ahead. And I think those slimy things may be the enemies that are apparently kind of annoying. Or maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know what... I mean, for one thing, if you're like, Oh, there's these enemy types. These monkeys are really freaking annoying. I'm like, monkeys? What? So it's still completely blind, I just happen to kind of vaguely know something, I guess, is going to be a pain in the ass in that regard. Also, the previous part, for whatever reason, just absolutely went to shit around about this part. So you didn't actually see the boss at all. So I guess uh, it's a good thing I have to find him again then, in a way. You didn't get to see the absolutely stupidest death possible as a result, which is a shame. Because it was really stupid. The boss literally just walked in, like, right past me, and then died. It made no sense. It was really stupid. Uh, where am I going? Uh... How do I get there again? <laughs> oh, I think that way, right? 
Second floor on the right. I mean, you didn't even see the cutscene of the boss actually showing up. It's like, at most, you just saw what it looked like right at the very end. In a kind of freeze frame, because that's how bad the video, like, ended up being. Wait, okay, it's up here, right? I've taken out a fair few zombies here and out, which explains why I don't really have much shotgun ammo left. Might be shotgun ammo that I haven't picked up around here somewhere, but whatever. Get ready for. Oh, never mind. Don't get ready for boss time. I forgot. Inventory sucks. Hey, Billy Boy. Ah, uh, that was the wrong thing. I keep forgetting. I've also still been playing H3 Master. I've actually cleared real survival. Which surprised me because that pretty much is... Means I could actually play through hard mode legit. So I have got significantly better at that. And you know with the auto aim as well. I went for the... I did the... Got the good ending, right? For Jill. So... I was cautious right at the end. First Tyrant boss, save. After that boss fight, save. I didn't even need the second save because I got through the second Tyrant boss without dying. Which was surprising. I was expecting to die on that fight because I thought those camera angles and the auto aim were going to be a bitch. And they were. Barry nearly got killed because how long it took me to line up a shot. But I managed to. I got grabbed as well. And I'm not sure if I was able to just break free myself or Barry shooting at the tyrant stopped him. Because Barry certainly took his sweet ass time to get a shot up as well. But I managed to feed him. And we, when you get to the, like, the rocket launcher bit, it's like, the spoiler face to your master. But I'm just going to assume if you're like, familiar with this game at all, you've probably seen the original at least. Or hate your master anyway. And you know, you line up the tyrant with the rocket launcher. You only need to do it once, sure. On a higher difficulty, Z, like, no cells the first shot. But all you gotta do is just aim again, bam! And he's done. He goes down just like that. But, anyways, should probably have you hang on to these because you're gonna be probably needing them. Uh, you you just stay right there. I'll initiate the boss fight. Don't know how it's gonna go this time. Cause I didn't necessarily figure out its weakness or anything. I mean, I didn't have any ammo. I mean, what is that? Rebecca. It's like a centipede bred with a freaking lobster. Ah, Billy! Ow! Okay, I see what hit me then. That's what killed me last time. Ow, I'm reloading the air. Fuck it. Shotguns are usually for bosses anyway. I think he's dead. Okay, not. Now. Okay. Would you let her go? Fuck, I'm out of ammo. Jesus Christ. There's gotta be a weak point, and I just can't figure it out. What are you doing, Billy? 
Ah, Billy, 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 help me! Oh, Jesus Christ, people thought Ashley was bad. I mean, sure, she got kidnapped by monsters like this, but I can't remember if it was ever a boss fight with this kind of kid. He even hit it. Jesus Christ, that was a bullet sponge. All the enemies in this game are bullet sponges. Rebecca! Are you alright? Yes, thank you. Surely there must have been a weak point, because I can imagine someone doing a knife only run on this thing. Which you'd kind of probably need to on high difficulties. <laughs> get down to just a knife only because you'd be like, I've got no ammo, like in the previous uh, uh, recording, because I had no ammo when I went into the fight. I still got plenty of handgun ammo, I just got no shotgun shells or anything. Sildiki. Okay, that's definitely gonna be for those fire doors. But didn't they say they had no keyholes though? Such a confusing uh, camera angle right there. Wait, why have you got nothing equipped? It's like I was attacked by a centipede lobster thing. Kind of uh, couldn't equip my gun. You know, if Rebecca gets you know uh, snapped up by another monster boss like that again, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? This this game was the real inspiration behind Resident Evil 4, wasn't it? I mean, look at the castle kind of look. I mean, it's a train facility, but tell me that it doesn't look like the castle in Resident Evil 4. And you got Rebecca being helpless in that situation, much like Ashley. Come to think about it. Wasn't Resident Evil for the uh, next mainline game in the series at that point? I assume anyway, because there's Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, which was possibly meant to be free originally. I'm not sure I've heard that before though. And then I guess that's around when they did H2 Master and Zero. So Resident Evil 4 would have to have been the next game in the main series. There probably were all spin offs, but those are the kind of main, main games in the series. I think it was this way, right? Gonna check out that kitchen. Are you serious? I I cleared this place last time I was here. Zombies just respawning. That's kind of annoying. As if ammo being scarce and the enemies being bullet sponges isn't bad enough. Okay, we got some stuff around here. That I can't pick up, of course. What's this? Lighter fluid. Why do we need lighter fluid? Does Billy's is Billy's lighter inferior to the one in the first game? Is that really all that's in here? If so, that sucks. Let me check. Hey, you've got your inventory space. Yeah, that's the lighter fluid, all right. Not really sure what to do with it.
Oh. Okay, now it's making sense. Well, I forget, what did I use it on originally? It was to make the Molotovs, right? I think. I'm not sure, though. I, no, I don't think they were used for that. Have I used the lighter at all? I, I can't remember. Well, that solves that issue, I guess. We can make some more Molotovs for all the use they have. I hear they're good for the leech guys, which may be the slime boys, but that's about all they seem to be good for. I'm seeing lost to shine. It's really all that's in here. What's with a cinematic camera angle? I mean, maybe at some point some monster will pop out. I, I would say zombie, but you never know. It could be something else. Oh, come on. That's an annoying camera. Rebecca, let's ignore this peasant. And figure out where the hell I'm going next. Uh, I know there was definitely a door somewhere that was locked. That had the fire thing on it. I think it was that door on the left. So here's what we do, right? You go into that big ass room, and then you're just gonna stick around there because, uh, you know, it's dangerous to go in groups. Doesn't really make sense. But you know, one of them, you know, I don't trust the AI to be smart enough to avoid getting killed. I mean, I, I am not smart enough to avoid getting killed, and the AI doesn't really seem like it'd be all that great at avoiding death. Wait, did I forget to read that when I played through the second time? I guess I did. Taking the scenic route there, I see. Right, the shotgun's kind of useless for now, so I'll leave it here. Also gotta agree with a comment I've seen when when I like, you know, looked up to see if anyone else could relate to the frustrations of some of the things in this game. And uh, the whole multi of cocktails was kind of like so, um, someone at the very least was like, Yeah, it's kinda shit how it's like takes up two inventory slots technically because you need both the bottles and the gasoline to mix them together, but then, you know, as soon as you got both, it's technically only one, but still, that is kind of annoying that you need both. I'll check it out. Okay. Is it this way or the other way? Ah, it's the other way. Is it? That's right. Yeah. Shit down there. I think there might have been two doors even. At least no zombies are respawned here. Oh wait, I forgot. She's the one with the freaking key. Ah, uh, Rebecca, can you come open this door for me, please? I didn't know the stupid thing when I unlocked that trophy for using the Molotov cocktail. And it's pretty much like... Burn it with fire or something. I don't know what it was called. But it's basically, you know, for killing an enemy with the Molotov cocktail. It didn't even kill the bloody zombie. Wait, what? That's all you needed it for? What's the other lock in here then? Is 
Yeah, this place should be fairly safe, right? It's just simply locked. Imagine it might have something to do with you. We gotta pick up a candle at some point, and that's why we're gonna need the lighter, maybe. I don't know. You just chill out here with the computers, Billy will go on ahead back. You. you know, I don't understand how the characters know when a key is no longer of use. But they always seem to magically do. This mysterious room. So it shows an elderly scholar immersed in his research. What about this one? A bridge under construction. Ah. Uh. Oh. You know what? I wonder. I did browse over the achievements. I didn't look at the ones that were, you know, hidden to avoid spoilers or anything. There's one trophy that wasn't hidden that I'm kind of interested in. And maybe this is the time for it. If you just go the right way, that is. Old paintings line the wall. All of them depict women. You know, are, are these actual, like, proper known paintings? A lot of horror games do that, but mostly indie games. It's like, we will reuse these paintings because they are in the public domain. And they kind of add an atmosphere. You know, many times in a horror game have you, like, seen... Ah, uh, I forget what the artist's name was. But he like painted it on the walls of his house or something, I can't remember. They're called the black paintings or something like that. One of them has, you know, the god Saturn devouring his son, one of his sons. Pretty fucked up painting. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's not heavy enough that she isn't able to move it. Apparently a trophy for trying to move something that's too heavy for Rebecca, but I guess that wasn't too heavy. Sister Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones there, so can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. Oh. Wesker and... Uh, yeah, that would be William Burke in Windows. Did it specify a year? <laughs> I guess not. But September 2nd is when they came to this facility. When they joined up, I guess. So we're 25th. Scholar Will, Practical Al, they really are opposites. Practical Al or practical, practical AI? I, I'm not sure. But considering it seems to be referring to people, I'm gonna assume Al. And they're always competitive in everything they do. Oh wait, oh I get it, Albert, yeah, Wesker. So they were very competitive. I mean, that was kind of revealed even in the first game. Technically, if you like, uh, check Wesker at a certain point. Because you'll find a note on him. That's kind of, uh, I think was Birkin kind of like, uh, boasting about his research. Which I guess probably annoyed Wesker because he's like, that son of a bitch. I'm going to do better than you, you son of a bitch. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. You know, that's... Like, we know Wesker is a complete piece of shit. But, from uh, what we saw, see of uh, Birkin in the second game, he doesn't seem as much a piece of shit. If that makes sense. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. 
It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this train facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever, orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. So Marcus set them on the path of rivalry. Have I got any inventory space to pick that up? I guess so. Shotgun ammo. I thought that was gonna be like a uh, first aid spray or something. Hey, Billy. Oh, wait. You don't even have the shotgun with you right now, so it kind of makes no difference. Is that a door? Nope. Kind of looked like a door. Books are arranged in no particular order. Okay, it's a shelf. Well, bookcase to be exact. Some of them seem to have been removed from the shelf. Probably gonna have to... Uh, I mean, this is kind of a problem. Oh uh, yeah, you can climb on it. Good. Move that aside. That looks like that door might need something now. Wait. No, that wouldn't make sense. Wait, it's a fireplace. I can examine it, maybe it's related somehow. Nope, can't interact with it. What's this? Switch. Okay, it's just a light switch. I thought maybe it was gonna be some kind of lock. Hey, there's handgun ammo. Billy! Take over. Go around, see if maybe there's something I can interact with now. Nope. No interest in papers. Uh, there's a door somewhere here, right? Or am I going the wrong way? Um, wait, what? There is no way around here. What? I thought there'd be a separate door, but it's just a wall, I guess. Ah. How disappointing. Globe is extremely well crafted, but it's so old that it feels like it's going to fall apart when you spin it. So no candles around I can pick up, maybe? Well, I mean, there are candles in here. I mean, I see them right there, but I can't really do anything with them. Now, if it's a case of those candles can be interacted with, you just gotta use the lighter on them, then that would be really dumb. Because it gives you no indication that that's a thing. Even though it feels like it should be, because of that uh, painting. I mean, do I burn it? Of course not. Um, kind of uh, stumped. What have I done and not done? Well, I haven't really gone in that one room that I noped the fuck out of instantly. Because upon seeing whatever the hell, the spawn of Umbrella, I guess. You know, I was like, no, I ain't dealing with that crap. Uh, which way would that be? I wonder how you get past those uh, doors with the knights. And if you think about it, those knights also must have had an influence on Resident Evil 4.
just seems a bit weird, doesn't it? It's just like, okay, we're going to take inspiration from Resident Evil Zero for Resident Evil 4, but only aesthetically. Gameplay-wise, we're changing it up dramatically. Should uh, open the map immediately now. What kind of room are we looking at? It's a locked door in here. Oh shit. Oh, I see a grenade launcher by the looks of it. What's this? Yeah, it's locked. Water motive. We're gonna have an earth motive as well. Okay, statue. You still got inventory space. So I guess I probably can't pick that up. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I get the fucking paintings. Pick up the ammo. I don't need to fight you guys. You're not really as fast as you look. I guess interacting with an object will automatically keep it marked on the map, I guess. Was there another room I noped the fuck out of? Doesn't appear to be. I didn't pick up that other statue though. Those statues have gotta be used somewhere. Oh yeah, and I kinda noped the fuck out of uh, the areas over here, didn't I? The clock. Oh yeah, the clock room. I didn't really check it out properly, did I? Because I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Crows or maybe ravens? What's this? That's just a knife. I've already got one. I think that was Rebecca's one. I'm not sure if she even had one originally. So I'm not even sure how that happens. I'll take that. Hello. Ow, fuck off. Okay. Time to die. Okay, maybe not time to die. Okay, maybe it is time to die. Shit! Fucked! Okay, okay. Things are getting a little crazy in here. Okay, what we got? Solidly built clock. Man has this one from the dark. That's no good. I thought maybe the statues are going to be involved here somehow. What a shit room. Yours must be part of the big clock. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. I came all this way for nothing. How badly wounded am I? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. Those guys, their attacks merely tickled, apparently. But that was kind of annoying, you know? That was all for nothing, more or less. Completely and utterly pointless. I mean, like I said, the trouble with, uh, you know, playing this blindly is I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just have to kind of figure it out as I go. And I'm not very good at that, usually. So it tends to be uh, very mixed results. 
But when you know what to do, you can get through these games really fast. You know what? I will take this moment to actually show the screenshots from when I uh, beat the game in under three hours, followed by the one where I cleared on real survival, just to prove a point. I will show them on screen. Yeah. It's like, that's what happens when you get used to a game and not what the fuck you're doing. This game, I'm probably going to get a really shitty score at the end of the game. I mean, it didn't seem to score you properly on History Mask. It didn't give you a rank or anything. But, you know, it does add up, like, the ink ribbons you use, the enemies dispatch, ammo use, and stuff like that. I could easily get the ink is for squids trophy at this point, but... Currently, I'm going for the, uh... Invisible enemies one. I've gotten past the residence area and then I got killed by a hunter, so that kind of sucks. It's kind of hard because even on very easy, I must have either overlooked where the hunter was when I tried to take him out, or there was simply a hunter in a different spot that I was anticipating and I died. That way it goes, that kind of sucked, but I did save before, you know, heading back to the mansion, so... Yeah, but I couldn't be arsed playing it further than that, it's like, oh man, I can't be arsed. Uh, think. Think. Is in that room is where the uh, other statue is. Thing is, I'm not really sure what to do with the statues. I think there's a zombie that I didn't kill around here somewhere. Oh, god damn it, of course it's right in my fucking face. Don't you hate that? You can't see it coming. You know it, he's there somewhere. But if you just wait around, he'll just be up in your face. But if you run forward blindly, he'll be in your face anyway. And you can't run past these zombies very easily. Oh! Jesus Christ, you blended into the goddamn background, you piece of shit! Fucking goddamn zombies from hell. Yeah, stack of chairs and shit. I don't care. Can I combine them somehow? So I'm searching in the shape of a woman. A very, uh... Little dress, scantily clad, whatever. Yeah, obviously, that makes no sense, would it? But it's worth a shot. There's the old crappy shotgun. Um, again, I'm kind of stumped. I don't think there was anything in the kitchen area. Wait, I haven't technically gone to the left. Maybe there was something to the left that I need to do. But I'll do that in the next part. So I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.